Just some time. guy sitting around talking about construction. Yeah. Sometimes we show up, sometimes we don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, like all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start us off here. You gotta start it, Jerry. All right, so I just was just kind of reading through uh, some industry news and see what what are, what are people talking about. And there there is a there is a, there's a theme here. So I picked out uh, picked out a couple of articles. I thought <clears> we could just discuss real quick, like Jeff, get your input since you're the actual construction guy here. Yeah. So uh, uh, we give it a whirl. All right, yeah. So. All right, so here's a headline. Construction industry adds 60,000 jobs in February as hourly wages post steepest rise since 1982. Competition for workers expected to intensify. Is that jive with what you're seeing in the market today? Yeah, you know, for the most part. Well, not just today, but I mean, we've been seeing it for the last couple of years. I mean, it's yeah. just deadly. You know, in this area, in this market, you know, we're in right now, uh, skilled labor is tough to find, good men are tough to find, and when you get them, you got to pay for them. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, we're, I say in the last two years, I've seen probably a 30 to 35% jump in wages uh, from entry level all the way up to, you know, uh, foreman and, and superintendent. 30 to 35%. Yeah. Wow, that's special. So even even the guys <clears throat> just starting out, everybody's making yeah. more money. Now. Yeah. If you're willing to work. If you're willing to work, yeah. <laughs> you know, I will say one thing that's interesting about that, though. You know, we, we talk about wages not keeping up with inflation. I guess it depends what your work is. If, that's if true. you want to enter construction, you can keep up with inflation right well, now. And I don't, I don't really, well, I don't, you can, but I don't really think inflation is what's controlling the market as far as our wage market. What's controlling ours is the the need for the help. Just, yeah, know, just the growth. Just the, the, you know, the supply and demand. Yeah. You know, it's, it, we got so much demand right now, but and then you got this other, you know, animal we got to deal with where, as far as I know, our government's still paying a lot of people more money to stay at home than what they can make in the market. Actually, I don't think that's true. It may not be. I, think, I, I think that's... I, I, but last I heard, they were still giving out checks. I don't know if they are or not. I don't know. Yeah. I, 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 I think that is kind of phased out. I hope so. Real quick, I saw a thing. This kind of blew me away. Last year, there were more new business filings than ever in history. Really? So, I was telling Jerry, a lot of people, I think, decided that, hey, I'm going to do something else. I'm going to try something else. Yeah. You wish them all the best of luck. But as we know, statistically, a large Big chunk portion, of new businesses yeah. are going to fail. fail. Mm -hmm. So these people are going to be coming back to the right. workforce. Yes. <laughs> They're coming back. Yeah, yeah. it's inevitable. But, uh, you know, I don't like to say, you know, as far as our industry goes and what we do, I don't believe, you know, uh, inflation has anything to do with it. I think it's just a supply and demand. Supply and demand. Uh, and to... We don't really have, you know, skilled laborers. If you, if you got a skilled position, you know, you're not just snapping your finger like, hey, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Yeah. You know, you've got to be trained and brought up in it. So, you know, we still got basically the same amount of people that we've had in this area that do these particular jobs right. Right. that we've always had, but there's so much progress going on that those people aren't, you know, we're outsourcing to other states other counties and stuff, you know, surrounding counties, you know, trying to find people. And part of that is probably like we've talked about before, this lack of emphasis on skilled labor yes. in mm -hmm. education. Yeah. Yeah. It's still, like, they try to push everybody <clears throat> into college and, and, and some kids are better yeah. off learning a trade. Trade, and, yeah. And, yeah. Which, and I saw a thing today that community college enrollment is at a historic low right now. Really? That's odd. That is yeah. odd. Especially like in the state of Tennessee where it's, it's, it's free. provided for you. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. And speaking of like a trade school, well, that's that's a good opportunity, you know, yeah. to, to, to learn a specific yeah. trade is at a community college. Yeah. So 
So I, I just found that surprising. Yeah. Yeah. But and I know, like in in past few years, you know, medical field, for instance, mm. you know, they're offering uh, a deal where, like, say you go to, they'll pay for you to go to school to yeah. be a nurse or, you know, this or that or whatever field you may be going into. And then you sign a deal with this particular hospital, this particular doctor's office or whatever it may be that, hey, I'm going to work for you for X amount of months. Mm. <clears throat> to trade off, you know, for my schooling. Mm-hmm. Uh, and maybe that's something that, you know, as far as skilled and trade laborers, uh, maybe that's what we need to start doing, you know, is maybe offering someone an incentive program or some type of apprentice program mm-hmm. to where, you know, you can work here for, you know, we're going to put you through school and let you learn a good trade. Mm-hmm. And then you uh, you pay us back by, by committing for so many months or so many years. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, because those opportunities, they do exist yeah. in, in other similar industries. Yeah. I've not heard of that in, you know, your, your trade, right. which is underground specifically. Yeah. You know, you don't really hear people talking about that, but that's a wonderful idea. Yeah. Well, and, and they, you got union jobs, you know, like you got right. apprenticeships, you know. Apprenticeships through the, yeah, yes. the union. Yeah. And, uh, but there again, that's, that's a different entity all on its own because you know their wage rates versus the general market wage rates are totally different when you get in sure. the private sector uh you know union there mm-hmm. are but they pay a lot a lot higher salaries than what what you can get out here just working for <laughs> right. for an individual company right <clears throat> excuse me so that's one, uh, yeah. i guess that's one thing you know that you don't you know want to want to get accustomed to is is trying to compete with with union type projects yeah. Because you you'll never be able to you you'll go under mm-hmm. if you if you try to pay your guys you know what union workers make you can't afford yeah. to do it and, and pick up work in the private market. Yeah. So how, what are you guys at your company doing to attract labor? Oh well, I mean we've put ads out. I mean we've numerous things. You know, word of mouth, uh, Facebook. But y'all are not the only. At the end of the day, does it come down to who can pay the most, or, or are there other things you can do to kind of? Yes and no. <clears throat> I mean, there are some guys you're trying to hire. You know, they're going to be more loyal to a specific company. You know, or they get you know a certain company in mind that they want to work for. Uh, at that point, you know, they're willing to give up a little bit, a little bit of change to to make sure they can work for this particular company. But yes, it does boil down to money, you know, for the most part. You know, who's gonna treat the men the best, who's gonna pay the most fair salary, and who's gonna offer them the most benefits. And uh, uh, at the end of the day, you know, that's, that's where they're going to go. What kind of vehicles are you gonna supply me? What kind of insurance are you gonna furnish me? You gonna give me a phone? You know, what, what all are you gonna do, you know, to, to make it worth my while? And right now, we're having a hard time finding like one or two guys. So what we've found is a little easier for us is to try to find a complete crew, foreman, operators, laborers, pipe layers, whatever it may be, and take that whole crew and put them to work. Hmm. And I'm, I say we've had better luck with it, but the opportunities are a little more frequent than just the individual. Because most individuals, unless they're mad or whatever, they're going to continue to stick with this one crew they worked with, you know, for the last few years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it's the crew, they've, kind of, they've built a bond together, right. you know, so. Yeah. Yeah. If, yeah. If, if they can all go and all make a little yeah. more money. Right. Yeah. Then and if you've got a crew that's, you know, been together for a few years, uh, that are used to one another, and they've got a, a way of working, and it works, that's what you want. You know, yeah. you want, it cuts down on your training time. <clears throat> in your time trying to, to put a crew together mm-hmm. because efficiency yeah. out of the box well yeah and everyone mm-hmm. on that crew is not going to get along I mean if you're if you're bringing strangers in and put them together sure they may jive but there's a good <laughs> chance they're not going to jive you know they're going to I bet they're, they're going to butt some heads <laughs> yeah right yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had a couple more articles but I think maybe we'll discuss them separately so yeah a little discussion that's right so we'll wrap this one up. I like it. Uh, we would remind you all to please uh, like this video. Mm-hmm. You know, if you've got some questions about it, yep. comment. Yep. Uh, you know, YouTube, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So um, 
Look us up on Facebook. Of course, check us out at ProfitDig.com. We post articles there and such. Of course, uh, we have created what we believe is the world's easiest to use construction job bidding and costing solutions. So, yes. Uh, uh, come give us a try. Ninety nine bucks a month, no contract. That's it. It does not get much it's easier, easier than, than that. that. I think that's it. Yep. So All right. we'll see you there. All right, gentlemen. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. See you.